Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Tess Lark. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a craft with me series. So today we're gonna to be working on making some resin jewelry with pressed flowers. And this project's really fun because you can kind of use whatever flowers you want to. You can get whatever pendants you want to. You could throw little bones or seashells in there. The, the possibilities are endless. It's really just up to you what you want to create. So what we're going to need for our project today are these little Blake bezels. Bezel trays, you can search for, um, find them at pretty much any craft store or Amazon has a lot of them. And so I've got a couple different um, bezels here. I've got two for necklaces and then I've got four ring blanks. And it's just important that they have like a little lip on the side of them so you can put something in there and kind of fill it up with resin without it spilling over. Next, you're gonna need some sort of dried flower. I'm using rosemary today. And just a quick side note, there's a couple different ways that you can press flowers. Um, there's a traditional way of putting it in a flower press. You can also take a couple very heavy books and some wax paper or parchment paper and just set the flowers in between the pages, in between the wax paper, and leave it alone for a couple days or weeks. Or you can use something that is called um, uh, like a microwavable flower press. And this is a microflor, and it was actually a gift from my boyfriend. And I love it. I, I, I think it's uh, very convenient to do it this way. And you know, you it's a little bit tedious because you're kind of having to check on the flowers a lot. Like you just put them in for like maybe 15 seconds, check. 10 seconds check. I think that the results are really nice and I also think that drying the flowers quickly helps to preserve some of the color. So um, yes, I believe we got this on Amazon as well. I went ahead and painted the backs of my bezels just white because I like the contrast uh, with the rosemary. But again, you can choose whatever color you want. I tend to use a lot of black if I'm working with baby's breath, but the sky's the limit. So we've got our pendants, we've got our flowers, we're also going to need glue and a toothpick. I'm out of toothpicks, so I'm using some wire. You'll need a popsicle stick, a small measuring cup, something to mark it with, and then you're going to need resin. So this is the Art & Glow Casting and Coating Epoxy Resin, and I've had really good results with it. I used ice resin for years and had great results with that as well. Um, this is just what I have on hand right now, so that's what I'm using. I also really highly suggest using some wax paper that you can put down on your surface of wherever you're working on so you don't get glue or resin on your desk or table um, or whatever. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is kind of decide how we want the flowers to be composed within the pendant. And then when you figure that out, you're going to use a little bit of your glue and just keep the flowers down in place so that they don't float when you pour your resin. Okay, and I'm just going to try my best to do this with one hand, so bear with me. So we're just taking a little bit of glue, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to put it right on our flower. Take the flower. I'm just going to press it right on in. And then you can just kind of press the bottom part in with your thumb. And then it's kind of dry enough to just break right off. And then I'll kind of go in and add a little bit of green to the bottom. Okay, so here is the first one. And then you're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process with um, your other pendants. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put a clean piece of wax paper on a plate just to make these a little bit easier for me to move out of my way later. You're, after you pour the resin, it takes about 24 hours for it to harden. So you're going to want to put them somewhere safe that they're not going to be bumped um, and someplace that's relatively not very dusty. So I like to use like an old cake cover, um, cake carrier cover that I put over it. You can also like put it in a microwave or something like that or just on the counter. Just, you know, do what you can. And then for my rings, I actually have like um, a sponge thing that I'll show you in a second. But first, we'll mix the resin. 
So you're just going to mix the resin to the specifications of whatever resin you're using. Usually it's a one to one ratio. So you're going to take your measuring cup and a pen, a Sharpie, and you're just going to mark out what you want. So I'm going to probably do like two milliliters, I guess it would be. It's the smallest um, one that I can. So I'm going to mark it at the one and then I'm going to mark it at the two. Then I'm just going to pour my resin in um, to the mark, say. You want to go slow because it comes out kind of fast. It's really viscous, so it takes a while to like, level out. So you can kind of see how the two are separated from each other. And we're just going to take our popsicle stick and we're going to use that to mix it together. But, um, Kind of want to go slow and really scrape the sides and the bottom. You don't want to go too fast. What you're trying to do is minimize the amount of air that gets in there because you don't want to have air bubbles in your finished piece. Fewer air bubbles, the better. And then usually they say that you should mix it, I think, for about two minutes. Um, and if you're liking this video so far, uh, don't forget to give it a like and let me know in the comments. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you can see when I post new things. I try to post weekly. Um, it doesn't always happen, but I'm hoping to get better at it. Okay, so this is pretty much all set. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes just to let all of the little air bubbles kind of come up to the top. Another thing that I like to do is kind of use my breath and that pops a lot of the surface bubbles. A little tap. And then, so like I said, I'm just going to let it sit for like um, three to five minutes. Okay, and then for my rings, I just have this little styrofoam block. I kind of like made slits in to put the rings in so they can stand up. So the resin should be set up by now, so let's go ahead and start pouring. All right, and you're just carefully gonna pour the resin into the bezels. Again, take your time because it kind of expands. You can also use your Q-tip or your popsicle stick to sort of move the resin where it needs to go. Put some down here. You can also use your um, toothpick to help kind of pop any of the bubbles that come to the surface. And again, um, kind of breathing on it or using a blow dryer very, very carefully on low can also help get some of those bubbles out. Um, I also went ahead and made like a little crutch uh, for the bottom of these because they're not completely level and I don't want all the resin to pull at the bottom. The, the rings are so small that I'm actually, I'm not gonna pour it directly from the cup. I'm just gonna use a little bit from popsicle stick to get that into these little guys. So you just really need like a good drop. You can kind of move it around. All right, and that's it. So you've got about 30 minutes to play with the resin. You can come back and check on it. Um, and see again if there's any bubbles that have formed, kind of give it a good with your breath to try to pop any of those little surface bubbles. Um, but it takes 24 hours for it to harden completely. Typically, the one that I'm using does. So I will come back tomorrow and show you the end result. Um, and then in the second part of this video, I'll show you how to put the um, pendants onto chains and make them into necklaces. So if you'd like to see that, let me know by giving this video a like. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and yeah, I will see you tomorrow and we'll just, um, take a look at our finished products. All right. Thanks guys. Bye. Hi, it's me again from the future and our pieces are totally cured. They're hard to the touch and smooth. It ended up being pretty clear, not too many bubbles. So overall, I'm happy with this product. Um, and don't forget to check out the second part of this video where I will go ahead and put these guys on chains. So thanks again for tuning in.